Hey everyone, Nina here. I just wanted to note that we shot this video earlier in the year for wedding season, pre-pandemic. Obviously COVID turned everything kind of upside down, but we thought you'd still enjoy seeing this part of my wedding journey. So hope you enjoy. I love it. I love the, 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 the cut, the Are style. Are you about to say something bad? I heard it in his tone, it's coming. Listen. <laughs> I am having a traditional Sri Lankan Hindu wedding as opposed to a Western wedding. For reference, Priyanka Chopra and Nick Jonas had a Hindu wedding that will probably have some similarities and some differences to mine. The typical outfit for the bride is a sari. I think I just want to try a bunch of different styles and looks and that will help me decide what I ultimately want. So I'm going to be going to Sari Palace in Artesia to try on a bunch of saris and I'm bringing along three of my friends to be my little commentary panel and hopefully find what I want for my wedding. Hi Nina, Hi. my name's Hero. Welcome to Sari Palace in Artesia. We've been around since 1987. My parents founded the location in Berkeley, California. We also just this year launched our online store. I really just want to be like inspired. I want to try a variety of things. Red is the traditional color for sure, but you know, I'm open to white, to gold. So I have a lot of options that I think you'll really like in both saris and lingas. Anything that just like feels bridal, I'm okay with. Thank you all for coming here to help me look at some saris and langos. You're all very familiar with my style to the point where you helped pick out my engagement ring, all of you. Farah is very gentle. I think she'll probably treat me with like kid gloves. You know, you need somebody there to be kind of the nice emotional support. She's a very stylish person, so I can see something traditional, but something that's also unique to her personality. Casey is honest. She also knows my sense of style pretty well. We are both Capricorns. I think it's really interesting, the Capricornness. There's a little bit of liking tradition, but when it comes to Nina, she's really fashion forward. Pablo will be very honest with me. He's my work husband. We bonded by talking <laughs> She's gonna look beautiful and everything. I wonder if she's gonna wear a black sari, you know, to match the color of her soul. Oh, most definitely. Come out, Nina. <laughs> Get the hell out here. <laughs> oh, <laughs> here I am, here I am. Wow. So this is sari number one. It's a very thin material, like a chiffon. It has like very lovely gold embroidery with some pink like bursts in the middle. Then going down, it has this flared skirt part at the bottom that's also like kind of ruffly. Feels very modern. It's like a mermaid tail. This is really living up to my gold expectations, so I'm very happy right now. Great, I'm here to please you. The detailing is just so gorgeous. I love it, I love the, 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 the cut, the Are style. Are you about to say something bad? I heard it in his tone, it's coming. <laughs> I don't know if it's your shade of red. Why isn't it my shade of red? I prefer a darker red on you. Well, you're lucky that I agree with you. Um, <laughs> I definitely wanted to try a brighter, almost like pinker red like this, because my mom loves colors like this on me. Like I love everything about this in terms of the shape and the drape. Having something that feels like breezy and that I can move in and that feels just like comfortable, feels very nice. I think we can all agree this is a beautiful sari. We would prefer a darker red if you're gonna wear red again, but this cut is fresh, modern for you, and it makes you look Beautiful. Thank you. The council has spoken. Sorry, number two. Let's see it. Here I am. Oh. This is a silk sari. It's more of a darker red maroon, almost even like a little purpley color. It's very nicely embroidered, not only at the border, but also all over the body of the sari. It's more maroon, which I do like. It just like feels more regal. Like this one is also actually pleated from this one. It takes a little more work. I love the silk. I'm just wondering if it's gonna be a little bit too restrictive at the bottom for you. It's definitely more stiff than the other one, but it's not uncomfortable. Like I could definitely still see myself wearing this on my wedding day. This is like, impressive in the way that it's detailed but I feel like your style is more so the first one with that color and I think that'd be completely you. So I think next I'm gonna try a lenga maybe see what it, that's about. Let's see the third one. <laughs> it's a lot of skirts. It is. What is she draping over you? So it's called a dupata and it's like the third piece of a lenga. Lengas are like three pieces, blouse, skirt, and the Buddha. So this one actually comes with two the Buddhas, <laughs> including one for the head. The head part is like very bridal. It's a look. It's a full look. 
Very princess-like. I'm really, really into this. Out of the past two, I think this is your perfect shade of red. While princessy is not usually you, all of the embellishments are very you. Like the bling is like, you love accessories, you love shiny things. If there's one day you're gonna look like a princess, it might as well be your wedding day. <laughs> because it is effectively, you know, a top and a skirt, there's much more mobility and it's like very easy to move around in, but it is heavier. There's just like a lot more weight on me because of the embroidery. Every angle that you turn it's like shiny, 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 shiny. And That's I what it. I want to look like a disco ball. Yeah. Let's do it. <gasps> oh, oh okay. it's like purple. <laughs> this one's like more velvety. It's got like blue accents and silver accents more. Also, the velvet is really interesting. I don't think I've ever seen or worn a velvet Lenka. You look like a purple princess. <laughs> I personally love the way that this is draped compared to the last one, because it's a little bit more open. Mm -hmm. I do like the velvet on you, because it's like, yeah, while you usually go for different like color tones, it's still kind of Capricorn-esque <laughs> palette that I really like. It's very Capricorn. You. And you still got the glitz everywhere, which yes. is so good. We have to have the glitz. I'm glad I tried something like this because I don't know if I would have necessarily on my own. I think these lines on the skirt part just draw the eye in a very interesting way that I hadn't necessarily been considering. Been looking at a lot of stuff that's like very just like embroidery everywhere. And I think having something like this that feels more unique is uh, something to consider for me. It's like completely unexpected. It doesn't feel like too warm. So I was worried it would be a little too like stifling, but it still breathes really nicely. But as much as I love this one, I just like a deep red on you is still. So I tried on a bunch of saris and lengas, and what do you guys think? So I think we can all agree, but I'm just gonna say. <laughs> The first one was very you, the cut, the sari and lango mix, I think were beautiful on you. And then the color from three, if you add that, so the darker red to the first one, I think it's completely you. Part of me just really loved the glitz and the glam of the dress three, even though I know you weren't leaning towards wearing a langa. Three really wowed me. I think it's because of the color, but I know you're leaning more towards a sari than a langa, so I just feel like inspiration-wise, you like, get the embroidery, the glitz, the gold of the third one. Before I tell you what my favorite is, why don't you tell me what you think my favorite is and whoever gets it right can be my maid of honor. Oh. <laughs> oh, no. I think even though you like the color of Lango one, I think your, your favorite was probably Sari one. I wanna go with three. I go with Sari number one. Interesting, interesting choices all around. My favorite was Sari number one. <laughs> Fair is gone, Pablo and I are your maid of honor. <laughs> but I will say, I loved the color of sari number two. And that's probably the color that I would take for my actual sari. Wow, that was a curve for us. It was not on our radar. <laughs> I learned a lot about what I think I want ultimately for my bridal sari. Before I was like, mm, I don't know what I want, I'm open to anything. And now I'm like, I want these extremely specific and different things. So we'll see how that goes for me. Thank you all for going on this little journey with me. And hopefully you'll see something like it at the wedding. <laughs>